So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 20th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna take a final look at our login application and finish it off and make it ready. So let's get started. So what's left? Well, the UI and the logout part mostly as the final things which we need to have at least. So um, let's just start with the UI and I'm just going to speed this up really quick because now it's not really a part of Angular. I hope you know about HTML and CSS. So that's essentially what we're going to do here. So let's get into it. All right, so with the UI being done, what we want to do now is pretty much just create the logout functionality, right? So uh, what I want to do is uh, pretty much go to my administrator area right here. And just in front of it, I'm just gonna say a router link slash logout. And I'm just gonna say logout and give it a class of button. And we just gotta copy this button from our login component, not login, but the home. There we are inside our admin. So now, if we just go to admin, we would be able to see this logout button. So let's just make it work. What we wanna do is go to our app module, and right here, I'm just gonna say one more thing that the path should be logout component should be uh, logout component uh, let's just create this component ng generate or ng gc logout and this would do our work so logout component there we are right and yep let's just close this file don't save go to app modules again let's just add another thing which would be path logout component is logout component there we are and inside our logout component um logout component we can just say logging you out and right here inside our TypeScript file we're just gonna say here this dot user dot logout dot subscribe data and then we're just gonna say um, if data dot success is true then just log navigate this guy to this dot router dot navigate to home right so let's just inject these two guys really quick private user user service and private router is router and we can just get rid of this thing 
So let's just create this on user service really quick. Get some data is logged in logout, and we're gonna just return this dot http dot um, get. Let's just keep it like that slash api slash logout dot php and this should return us logout status uh, we can just create this interface logout status as success is boolean right and once that is done what i want is uh, else um, just alert some problem we don't know about so i'm just gonna really quickly create my logout.php file here logout.php and i'm just gonna say session start i'm gonna just say um i believe it was session destroy here but before that we can just unset the session variable as well session i actually forgot about how to work with sessions in php the good way but i think that should do our job so yep one more thing um, inside here where we are where is it auth.ph no logout.php i'm just gonna finally just say um what i'm gonna say is success is true and yep that's pretty much it so we can just get rid of this debugger call where is it in which file uh, the guard file um there we are now let's just get rid of this so now if we just go to slash admin we have a secret message for administrator only i log out i go to admin we get who the f are you okay so when we log out actually we just want to update the service as well so i'm just gonna say this dot user dot set or uh, this dot um auth dot uh, we just need to inject that as well private auth auth service this dot auth dot set logged in status to false so now you can see that if I reload this thing and if I just log in write admin admin here hit submit we get a secret message for administrator only I click on log out we log out we go to admin we cannot because we need to log in first I enter uh, wrong credentials hit submit we get invalid credentials everything's working just like that we get a secret message for administrator we can log out and obviously the session also persists so i can just reload the page and it would still work just like a charm so that is how pretty much you would create a very basic login application with angular front end and php backend the backend part is simple you just need to um, create some sessions there depending upon the uh, language you're using at backend but this is essentially the core of creating a login application with angular so yeah that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications